my friends. Welcome back to another day of Vlogmas. Um, my name is Deanna, if you're new to my channel. Thank you for being here. Um, please, if you enjoy planner videos, um, I would love it if you would subscribe, especially if you've watched a couple of my videos and you um, thought they were, at the very least, entertaining. <laughs> Um, trying to grow my channel and it really means a lot to me and thank you to those of you <clears throat> who have subscribed and are coming back for my videos and commenting it really means a lot to me and I love getting to know you all so I just wanted to say that um, to kind of start the video um, so I'm doing a much requested uh, Bible video um, this is my Bible setup. Um, I've been a Christian my whole life. My grandfather was a minister, a reverend, um, but I kind of, you know, did my own thing for a while, questioned things when I was a teenager and then a young adult. And um, as I have grown older, I've become more and more faithful. And so I'm starting this uh, journey to, um, you know, self-fulfillment with God. And I just wanted to share my, my setup and my, my Bible and what I've done and talk a little bit about it. Um, if it's not the video for you, I completely understand, but I've had several people request and ask, um, that I show my Bible and what I did to day ring it. So maybe if you're not, um, interested in putting your Bible in one of these planners, um, I am still going to talk about how I did it um, and how I got the rings out so that might be of value to you but if you have no interest just feel free to skip to the next video. I have a few others. I think I have three now for Vlogmas so check those out and um, the next video will be back to regular um, non-religious talks um, although it, it is a big part of my life and so you know, I can't promise that I won't talk about certain things or aspects of my faith um, because it just is interwoven. But anyway, I say all that to say that this is my Bible and I'm going to show you a little bit. It's um, kind of new in that I haven't um, written in it too much and that might be blasphemous to some of you and I'm so sorry if you're sensitive to people writing in their Bibles, but um, I do and I find that it's very um, therapeutic for me. It's helpful for me. I'm a note taker just in general in life. Um, if I'm watching something that's interesting to me, I might jot down a few notes about it and so it's very natural for me um, to be kind of like Bible journaling is sort of what it's called. So. Um, what I have is a Vanderspeck. Um, this is the Touch Me Manager size, I think. It's A5, um, the specs. And this is the Stardust Velvet Matte Croco, is what I think it's called. Um, I will put a link below to the direct Vanderspeck listing. Here's the back. And um, here's the spine. There's the middle. So as you can see, I've got quite a bit of room on the bottom and it's pretty flush to the top and slightly over like a millimeter or two um, coming out of the top and that's completely fine with me. But um, so first things first, let me get inside of it and show you how I have it in here. Um, I'll take it out so that I can better explain. Okay, so this is what the Bible looks like outside of the planner, okay? Um, it is the Dayspring Hope and Encouragement Bible, and it is the New Living Translation. Um, I also have an ESV Bible. I've, I've got the Bible app, which gives me many popular translations. Uh oh, hold on, we're out of focus. There we go. Sorry about that. Um, so this is the one that I found to be the most readable for me as I 
Currently, I'm not in a church. I haven't found one yet since we've moved. Um, and so I'm doing Bible study on my own. And I just really want to have the word uh, be approachable and understandable easily. So I found that the NLT version is very, um, very readable. And that's what I'm looking for. Hold on, let me have a little sip. So, like I said, it's the Dayspring brand, Tyndale Publisher, Hope and Encouragement Bible NLT. And if I decided to take it out of that binding, you can see, these are all my Bible tabs. It's gold leaf. And this is going to sort of be a little bit of a Bible review too. Um, kind of all encompassing, but it's really my Bible setup. And i um, still going to be adding more pictures, but um, this is the Bible. Let me set it aside here so I can talk a little bit about my cover. So, um, in here, and I'll zoom in ever so slightly. <laughs> I don't want it to lose too much quality for you. But this, under this little laminated bookmark, is where my rings lived. Now, I have this kind of um, double-sided, I put several pieces of double-sided tape um, on here, and I'll try to pull it up a little so I can show you, okay? So this is the ring mechanism that, it's, that the rings snap into. I didn't want this ruining my Bible, so I put this double-sided uh, tape and it might have even been a few glue dots to be honest because I was like I'm never going to use it again for anything else and so I didn't mind um, but this is it just laminated cardstock um, is all this is and it's cut it was cut to uh, fit where the little grommets were I think there was three and let me show you okay now these might be slightly different in size, but it might work. But you just have to imagine that these are kind of clicked in or screwed in here, okay? And then that's what would make this a ring binder. It's a planer. Um, and you can pull in this. There's different kinds of ring mechanisms. Um, this one is kind of an off-brand. Um, my Gilio and some of my other VDS, they have Krauss rings, um, but this one I think was from Moterm, and so it has these grommets and screws here. Uh, but it's essentially the same thing. You pull this plate off of the front, and then you just kind of pull these rings apart and pull them, they pull apart after you get this front plate off. And then you're able to take them, essentially deconstruct them, and that's how you would switch out your ring sizes, and I've done a video on that. Click on my um, channel and go under my videos, and you'll see when I switch the rings out on one of my planners, I talk about that a little more in depth, but I essentially just pulled the rings off, and some people have gone so far as to literally like um, cut, cut this away and pull that you know, those pieces out. I don't find that's necessary because I want to keep the back plate in here. I can feel it, that it goes from here to here. And it's like a metal plate in the back that reinforces the spine. It could be a little squishier and softer and, and like moldable, um, but it lines up pretty closely with my Bible and it fits right in there. Um, this is where the plate begins and ends. So as you can see, it, it just cradles the spine nicely. So for my purposes, I just felt like there was no point. So I just covered it to protect the spine of my Bible and um, there's no damage whatsoever. So what I, um, what this has is I just have seven pillars of effective Bible study. I believe it has several um, little card. No, no card slots up there. So that's why I stuck that there. I have a couple of extra post-its here. Um, and then post-it flags, page flags. 
in this pocket. Um, I don't think I have anything in that zip pocket. Uh, this first little slide in is a Bible study guide. I think I got it at Hobby Lobby. And then this back piece here is I have, you know, family pictures in a little um, protective sleeve. And then this is what covers my spine and the rings. Um, and then on this side, I just have some little pages uh, that came out of like an old book or devotional or planner or something. So if I want to kind of tip those in as I'm doing a reading, I will. And then these are kind of peel and stick little cards um, that I thought were cute. If I just have like a call to on a page and there's several um, like card slots over here. Um, this is the side where I keep my pen. I use a Micron 05. I don't know if that will focus for you. There you go. Um, the archival ink. So Pigma Micron 05. And it's a very uh, blunt little fine point. That's great. I find it does not bleed through. So that's been one of my, probably my favorite Bible pen. And then for um, highlighting, I have a Tombow and the color I'm in right now is 772 for highlighting and underlining. It's a pretty little faint rose color. Um, if you want a video on like my favorite Bible supplies, I could do that too. Um, but what I love about this is, a, is making it a Bible cover is it has a full size back pocket. So if I am at church, which I plan to find one in and be going, I can put church bulletins back there. I can print off Bible studies. I can print off notes. I can print off whatever I want to print off, put it back there and I have the full back pocket. So that to me is great. Now let me show you how I put this in here. This is a secretarial on the left, okay, where those pictures were. I just slide the front cover in, okay, and I'll fold that over. Same thing on the right. You can see where I'm going with this, okay? And then I just kind of close it and drop it down in, smack it a couple times with love. <laughs> and that's it and it's in okay so I can pull it in and out it's not a permanent solution um, and that works for me I, I just kind of stumbled upon it accidentally I was like I love this Bible but I want to protect it but I, I need some place to put my post-its should I put some pockets in it um, and so that kind of evolved and I was looking and I was like I think I have a VDS and A5 I wonder if that would fit because it feels pretty big and I held it up and I was like I think it's gonna work like I think I think this could, I think this could work. So I pulled out the rings and I just, I tried it and it worked out great. And so that makes me happy. It makes me happy because <laughs> it's functional, um, but it's also using one of the planners in the sizes that I tried that doesn't quite fit for my life. It's just a little too big for everyday carry. Uh, but when it comes to something like this, I'm okay with it being big because it, it needs to be, right? So let me move this out of the way. I'll do a little bit of a Bible tour because I know you guys had asked. Now, there's um, not a whole lot in here uh, in terms of notes, like I said, but there are a few pages. So I'll show you just generally kind of what the Bible looks like. So um, if you're considering one or you, you're looking at this one specifically, maybe um, this would be helpful to you. So... Um, <clears throat> all of my Bible tabs I got off of Amazon and um, I can go through and try to find them and, and link them if you want me to uh, but it goes through all the books starting with Genesis and I went through and kind of tabbed them and applied them um, the best that I could <laughs> they're not perfect by any means but I certainly tried and they're good enough for me Okay, sorry. I don't know what's going on. I'm going to keep an eye on the focus. Um, so on that front cover I already showed you, it's just an empty page. I put in a little picture of myself with um, my Watson when he was a little bit smaller. And then on this page here, um, it was just kind of a pretty foiled page. And I try to start all of my Bible studies with a prayer. And this is the prayer that I say. And so I just kind of, I put my name so that if I ever lost it, um, 
somebody would at least be able to look me up on Facebook or Instagram or something and find me. <laughs> but um, it's also just my my prayer to help me um, get right and get ready to receive the word and help me through my studying. So I printed, I created it just quickly in Canva, I measured the box, and then I just cut this or designed this and then cut it out and I use um, printable sticker paper and so I just was able to peel it, cut it, peel it, stick it, and this is what I have in the front. Um, here is the title pages of the um, Bible that I use. We have table of contents and I put a little bottom tab here with some washi um, just to kind of help me as I familiarize myself. Like I said, I'm not super like proficient in the word yet, so I'm, I'm still flipping to this page a lot. A uh, letter from the publisher. So there's a couple of um, interesting things about this Bible. It has some illustrative elements. Um, what is also really nice is the whole point or the whole design of this Bible specifically is focused around the 12 indisputable truths and every bit of scripture they try to tie those in um, and so these are the 12 that are throughout the bible so the messages are you are loved you are not alone you are known you are important you are forgiven you are special you have a purpose you are held you are equipped and able you are blessed you are guided you have a reason for hope so those are the the 12 um truths and so you can select a truth and follow it through the bible um that's kind of the the point of each of these truths is that it kind of ties the word back into these different messages so it helps um kind of give each section a focus and then it starts into the bible so we have the old testament and the new testament but this is genesis and so here's my tab for genesis and um, it has like a little bit of that illustration, which is very pretty. And then on the side here in the margin, there's lines. If you can see, they're probably very faint, um, but there are some lines here to allow you to write and take notes. It is journaling Bible. Um, and then it just goes through. Um, this is what I mean about the 12 truths. So it will take this um, story of Genesis and it will tie into the theme of you are guided. And it gives um, some focus and some context and some food for thought. And then a little prayer at the bottom um, that ties everything together. So that's one of the reasons I did a lot of Bible research. I'm a researcher and so this was um, purposeful and why I chose this Bible. That's something I really liked. And then you'll also have little call outs like this as well. It won't, sometimes it'll be the full page, but then other times it's just this, you are blessed, you are known. And it talks about the different um, scripture that that relates to. Um, so that kind of all ties together. So that's kind of nice. Um, let's see, we've got two ribbons down here. Let me take you to, like I said, it's mostly mostly ready for my additions and my thought. <laughs> um, here's one page that does that I worked on recently. Um, so this is an example of how I will start to journal um, and how I will mark up a page. I'm trying to zoom so that you can see, but I don't want to mess it up so much that it becomes blurry. So what I do on a page that I'm working on, um, I have little washi and this is like gold. And so I'll kind of put that in there. It just gives it a little bit of character and fun. I will go through and read the passage first. And then um, the next thing that I will do is go through a second time and read it. And I will highlight any parts that I'm that I'm drawn to. And in this case, I was really drawn to the whole message. This is Proverbs 
I can't read. 31 verses 10 through 31. So um, this is, yeah, Proverbs 31, 10 through 31. Excuse me. And this is a wife of noble character, the woman who fears the Lord. And this um, scripture is, is just all about a godly woman and what a godly woman is. And um, to me, I just pull out an underline or, or box in the scripture that really stands out to me, that resonates with me as I'm reading. I don't have any rhyme or reason. I just try to really um, think about what I'm called to or what, what has meaning to my life. Um, and to me, you know, I'm a wife and I'm a mom. And I'm trying to grow in faith. And so to me, getting the blueprint of what a godly woman is was um, comforting and also very inspirational. And so I pulled in and underlined certain things. And then after I've underlined, I pull out, okay, these are the themes that are sticking out to me. So what can I do over here to focus in on those messages? Um, so that as I'm flipping through flipping back through, I can look here and get the synopsis of the message that I received. Does that make sense? That's kind of what I do or how I um, Bible study. And so I made a little graphic or drew terribly because I'm, I'm a designer, but I'm not a hand illustrator. So um, for me, what that looked like was her lamp burns late into the night. And I drew just a little oil lamp because um, that really resonated with me. I have lots of irons in the fire and I'm always busy and I'm usually staying up very late working on either, you know, editing these videos or um, putting inserts together to put into my shop um, on Etsy or um, sharing my life on Instagram or sharing my planner there or working on my notary business and trying to do bookkeeping and catching up with any papers or preparing for appointments. So um, I often do burn the midnight oil. And that piece um, was just a call out for me to remember that, you know, I'm on the right track with all that I do. And then what I pulled in was a godly woman is and I just pulled all of these from my understanding of the scripture. A godly woman is valued and virtuous, trustworthy, helpful and able, productive and proactive, smart, generous, strong, skillful, kind and wise, worthy, fearful of the Lord and loved beyond measure. And um, through each bit of scripture, I only put a couple of notes. One was when I underlined the scripture that says, she has no fear of winter for her household, for everyone has warm clothes. I put, she prepares, right? She's, she's a planner, she's a prepper like me. Um, and then just this little note here was talking about her husband. And I was like, he excels at work because he has complete faith in his wife's abilities in the home. And that's kind of what I took from that. And then here I like to always finish my study with another prayer um, to kind of pray this scripture that I have read um, to how it applies to my life and to ask God to kind of help me with that. And so this prayer just was, Lord, I pray you come into my heart each day and help me to be a wife and mother of your standards. I pray you lead me daily to live as you intended and show me the paths to lead me to the lessons as smoothly as possible. Thank you, God, for allowing me to be a wife and mama. Amen. And so that was just that little prayer for me. Um, and I put this little tab down here because um, I know that I will be referring to this page, to this uh, book quite often. And so I will put a little tab on those areas that I know will get a little bit more use. And... Um, I didn't fully finish all of my notes and so I'll keep a ribbon there. And then here's another example. My um, Bible studies don't always look like that. Sometimes they look like this. And so what this was, um, was just a blank page. This is the 
the beginning of the New Testament. And so this is the book of Matthew and um, this was just an empty blank page. And so I found uh, illustration artwork online that I liked and I printed it and cut it down to the size and it was sticker paper. So I just put it in and then I just kind of colored in the top um, and then I drew on top and Joseph named him Jesus and there's just a little cross there. So um, there's some other scripture here. Sometimes I just will highlight, underline, I always highlight, underline or circle or box. And then sometimes I'll just put a little note in here. Maybe that's a post-it because um, I'm like, is this a permanent thought? Maybe I wanna expand on this a little bit more. Maybe I wanna do a little bit of research on this before I put my thoughts directly in. And so sometimes I will use post-its for that reason, um, but I am not afraid to mark and write in there, um, especially as I'm learning because that's, that's the point um, to me. And then once we get to the back after the book of Revelation, we are in the very back, that's the final piece. Um, this is the verse finder with Tyndale and so they have brought in different categories and then they let you know all the scripture that relates to that. So um, some of these like advice, angels, adoption, anger, assurance, and it just goes all the different ones and I've colored them uh, different colors with my highlighters. And then you've also got your index of industry, excuse me, indisputable truths. So those are those 12 truths again, and then it lists them all. So I could be like, okay, I want to focus my study now on the you are loved. And so maybe I go in on each page and I read each one as a Bible study. So that's something that's helpful. And then, oh, there we go. We have the visual overview. Um, it kind of talks about obviously the world of the patriarchs, the plagues of Egypt, Exodus from Egypt, um, Israel's annual calendar, the 12 tribes of Israel, uh, kingdoms of Israel, and then the book of Psalms. Um, they have the breakdown of the prophets, the exile, and the ministry of Jesus through Galilee, Samaria, and Judea, and then the prophecies of the Messiah. So each of these are broken down the first journeys of Christian leaders and Paul's missionary journeys. And then on the back, it's the Old Testament and the New Testament letters. And then that's the back. So that's kind of a, an overview tour of the Bible, specifically this one. Um, but also, whoops, sorry, um, also mine and how I Bible study and okay, so um, I hope that this was helpful. I hope this is what you were looking for and what you wanted to see. Um, please let me know if you want me to do like my favorite Bible supplies video or something like that. There's not a whole lot of them, but I'm happy to do that. Or if you would like like a guided Bible study or something. I mean, that's not, I'm certainly not an expert. Um, I like to watch other people's because I feel like I learn a lot from them. Um, but I'm happy to share some of the things that have helped me or some resources and tools if I can. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to share because I had so many requests and I didn't want you to think I was ignoring them. <laughs> so I finally took the time to make the video. And um, maybe if you know you're not a Bible person, but you've thought about a, a big bound book for journaling, maybe that would um, this would give you ideas of how you can do it um, without permanently altering your planner. So I hope it was helpful and please give it a like if you found that it was valuable for you. Um, and I will see you in my next video. Bye guys.